Well, we're currently in the middle of some fine music, but let's hear some, let's hear some, uh, Saint song. The Porter Reel is just what you needed. The reels attach to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is routed behind the magnetic reader. You press the large button marked Commence and the tape starts spinning. There's a small delay before the song starts playing. Press your, he press your ear against the speaker. Uh, just keep it at a distance and wait. Then the organ starts playing a simple, melancholic tune, echoing in the hallway. A lone singing voice joins in, telling you about the tiniest church in Sessons, surrounded by even tinier yard. You almost feel the seaside mist on your skin. Um, it's mega sad. I'm not falling for the deep fried meme trap when you see some video and you scroll by it and it's got all the fucking... Uh, uh, water markings and, and blur and bullshit that just scream out if you hit the volume button on this your phone is going to explode <laughs> what you ever see a video that just looks loud but it's muted because on social media it yeah. auto mutes until you press play or you unmute it uh -huh. that shit oh you see some some fucking like insane spongebob like uh 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 um chromatic aberration happening and you're like this With video yeah like and that? you're like if i touch the volume button my phone will just explode with sound right now i'm i'm not doing it within seconds you know this is the one the real shit you've been looking for the one you trust your room to this one tells it like it is this is your tune. the one you trust your room to I thought I was listening to, uh, what's his face? A click. Guillaume? Then silence yeah. for a bit. Then the tape stops spinning. Could I sing this for karaoke? I think oh. I could sing this. Yeah. No, I couldn't. It's too sad. I might cry and trash the room again. Dude, you need a sad song. Scratch that. I'm already crying and I look dumb. All right. We found old. it. We found it. Hell yeah. Of course you could sing this. You could take sad to a whole new level with this. And you already know the lyrics since you've listened to it, like, a million times. Yo. Yup, they're all here. All three verses. <laughs> and the B-side of the tape contains the instrumental version. It's like the world itself is telling you to do it. Only one obstacle stands on your way. What? God, you have to convince God to let you sing karaoke in the whirly. After you've won him over, you can express yourself. Let the pain out. Make everyone understand. I'm a little afraid of that winning him over part. The lieutenant watches you pack up the boombox. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, lieutenant doesn't know what's gonna happen. I mean... Police business. <laughs> sing, the, sing the sad out. You gotta feel good. You gotta let out the blues. How's our thoughts going? Doing we're, good? we're close. We're close. Yeah, we found the song. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I hope we have a nice voice, too. What? <laughs> I hope we have a nice voice. What? <laughs> On what fucking planet? <laughs> Imagine. Listen, it man. Was, uh, Just. Boobly. Just embrace the inner ODB and realize that it's off tune on purpose. <laughs> nah, it's gonna pull that Michael Bublé. It's gonna be great. You, you got what I need. The bushes are too thick and thorny to pass through. Hey, there's there's people over there. Let's keep on exploring. In the blocks chart, mm -hmm. makeshift fire pit with magazines for lighting. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. 
Let's go. That's, that's very... Uh, that's very fucking Hades of you, Kim. Like... Hey, do you want to sit down? No. No time for sitting. No time for bed. Keep going. Uh, can't get around that side. Wow. That house on the right. What did it say? Allez-vous-en. Go away. <laughs> I mean, that's a zombie-ass apocalyptic, yeah. you know, like, dead inside message. Uh, hey, hey, hey. No? I behind, can I walk behind the tree? Am I allowed to walk behind the tree? Uh, I don't know if that's a fence. Nope, doesn't seem like it. All right. Uh, well, let's just make our way through this side, then. I wonder who that message is destined to. Is it, like, in invaders and stuff? Anyone who's above that can read it? Yeah. Pants. Into isolary trousers. Plus one, one to the kingdom, the kingdom of, of conscience. conscience. So that's going to give you an idea. The moral pants? <gasps> Tailored trousers in light brown, moderate in every aspect. They're Dad pants. Unremarkable. In other words, perfect. Moralist pants. Oh my god, these pants are made for Saturdays. And Saturdays are made for dads. <laughs> put them on, put them on, put them on. Get that thought. Mm, these are some wonderfully regular pants. Not too tight, not too loose, moderate in every sense. You blend right in at some pleasant dinner. They do look like they're good for every occasion. Yeah, comfy for whatever you need, mm -hmm. not too informal. You got belt loops on it. Does not, it all. You haven't given up. You, you've given up, but you've kept it inside, you know? Absolutely. So I guess, is it reasonable to update our assumptions and say that the clothing that will give us a thought are the ones that don't affect our stats, but have an unknown gray. Yeah, they say something weird. Plus one something un un uh, unidentified, yeah, I right? Think that's what's gonna happen. Seems like it, yeah. Uh, I like regular, normal things. Oops, it's a fashion faux pas. Uh, Discard the thought. We have to, we have to, it, like, blow the spark a little bit, and like, you know, you have to. Mm -hmm. I know you do. These inter pants are like wearing a perfect, compromise in your nether regions no one will call the moral intern on you like this that's for sure oh man dude like i don't own anything that neutral like the closest thing i have is like that color cockies with a bunch of extra pockets on it where i could shove my fucking paint brushes and easels sandwiches a little more moralist now <laughs> <laughs> a little more normal, even if you didn't want to be. Wooly, what, what's up? <laughs> Wooly, what, what's up? Why are you? <laughs> I mean, my man <laughs> just went Evo 2010 on me. <laughs> Reggie just went Evo 2010. <laughs> oh my god dude i i wasn't why have there. i known you that I long i heard the leches <laughs> listen all you need to know is that earl of sandwich is the best damn sandwich that money can buy god like and when you buy one and then you buy another but one and a half and you're full you gotta hold on to you the other half it. So that you can snack on it a little bit later on that day. You know, somewhere outside on the strip or in the casino. What's the wrong with a meal in your pocket <laughs> if you know you might need, you might want that sandwich? A pocket sandwich. <laughs> pocket sandwich, bro. You eat one and a half Earl of Sandwiches, and they're the best fucking sandwiches ever. You're not going to walk all the way over to Planet Hollywood to go get uh, uh, Planet um, Hollywood, yeah, the, to go get another one. Because the strip is huge. But you want that delicious sandwich. Yes. And you're, you're going to want it. You want that and maybe piece? everybody wants to go hit up the buffet at like midnight. Uh huh. And that's a long time away. So before we do anything like that, we fucking just walk with the sandwich in our pocket. 
and then we pull it out, and then you, you hit that shit, you know? It's, it's wrapped up. It's contained in its bag. It's fair. It's fair. You can just keep it to go. Yeah. Either. Yeah. It's just, I just, we didn't, I, you know, I, I, best sandwich I've ever had. I'm walking with that. I'm holding on to it. <laughs> and then you pull it out. And everybody's like, where'd you pull that out from? And it just a, I bought two. I bought two. <laughs> Surprise sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's great. I, it wasn't bread and sauce on my pocket. You know. Oh my gosh. So, did it give a thought? Uh, didn't seem... Like... Well, huh? alright, we'll see where it go. It, it, it sparked, it sparked the idea. Uh, hold on a second, let's take a look. Some kind, no, some kind of superstar? No, we had that. Kingdom of Conscience. Kingdom of Conscience. Yes. Minus two half light temporary, calm water. Why? I guess it's because I heard of this before that I thought we already had it. Mm. But now we actually have it. Heartache is powerful, but democracy is subtle. Incrementally, you begin to notice a change in the weather. No, we did have this. Yes, that's, yeah. Then what's the new one? So then what did the what did those pants do? Gives you plus one point towards it. But plus one point. Pants give you a plus one moralism stat. Okay, well we just Okay, hold on a second. Pants give you Oh, the pants give you the thought even if you've discarded it. So this it gives us this, even if we're not committing that to a spot, a slot. Okay, it just boosted the moralist stat in Base. the ledger. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll do that too, for sure. Uh, yeah, I think it just added a point here. Yeah, but that's but 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 like you get to you get to walk around with with uh, that. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, let's put our kudo pants back on. Definitely. We need to be able to run, you know? With that spacious crotch. Yeah. Okay, so... Am I gonna actually spend on... Any of these? Let's see. Jamrock Shuffle was... Uh, what triggered this again? container opening. Yes, that's what I wanted. That seemed like it was something random and funny. Container opening. Okay. Good to go. Uh, we came from this area, and then... White curtains have been drawn shut. No looking in. Quick travel unlocked. Wow. Wedding stone, worn and covered in rust. Yeah, money, money. 1748. Almost good enough for Damn. the room. Construction material, whoever planned it uh, to build this house left in a hurry. Yeah, now we're hitting slums. Down, rock. <laughs> That's not a dog. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> Let's start over here, and then we'll work up to those kids. Kids first. Kids first? I was going to go like this. Cause oh, the... Okay, yeah. I'm down for these guys first. It would be weird to go to the kids first. So let's start with these people first. Mm. Ew. Hey, tequila. Oh, my God. A 30-something man clad in a two-piece licra. TM tracksuit puts down his pilsner and extends his hand in greeting. Mm -hmm. the idiot. Good to see you. How's business? How's the whole reality situation treating you? Oh, what? How does he? Why is he talking about reality? What? Because we've been down here. Oh no! And I've introduced myself to this gentleman as Tequila, and I've clearly discussed with him the problem with reality. 
Tequila Sunset? Sunrise? <laughs> so what's happening? He picks up his beer. Idiot Doom Spiral. Tequila. Yeah. Tequila Sunset. How are the um, high concept reality based adventures proceeding? He says it like it's obviously your name. Like you call someone Billy Brunel or leader of the Fourth Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I just be Gin Sunset? No. So it doesn't have that fucking. Ugh. Good. These people know your true name. Looks like it has preceded you, Mr. Sunset. More on that later. All right, not too hot. I'm on a 50-year losing streak. <laughs> reality makes me aggressively sad. Don't know. People tell me I'm a cop. I'm getting used to that. I've entered reality, re-entered reality to conquer it, to bend it to my will. I am the law. Reality, it's perishing. Soon only glowing embers will remain of the atoms, of human faces, only echoes. Let's go with that one. <laughs> not this again. I was hoping that we were done with it. Apocalypse cop! Now listen, Kim. I hear you, and I understand. And I was more sympathetic to your tiredness until I learned that we were actually being held together by nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and that we are literally in a damaged, floating world of magic that might fall apart at any second. <laughs> So suddenly, the apocalypse cop is not so crazy. Only echoes remaining of human faces? That's a pretty good apocalypse. I wouldn't mind if it came down to that. He nods appreciatively and picks out his shit-stained liquor jacket. The little we've learned of the gloaming and uh, the pale has been that when you go in it, you go crazy if you're in it for too long, and that it makes you, and that, and like, memories appear. It's like, it's absolutely what the Apocalypse Cop is talking about. Okay, but... It's not going super well for Idiot Doom Spiral, either. Haven't found those keys yet, haven't won that great piece of ass back, no word from my business buddies. He takes a sip from his beer, but can we just, like... Not ignore the fact that he is literally shit stained. Um, no, I think it's just his portrait is like fucked up. And so you think that when he picks out his shit stained liquor jacket, it's actually not shit? Okay, well, <laughs> that's kind of you, dude. I shook his hand. Yeah, you touched him. Like, mm. this guy's your buddy, buddy. Oh you God! Immediately, you belong to an organization, a fraternity of drunks. <sighs> I guess when you're drunk, anybody's a friend, right? Oh my God! You, how? <laughs> yeah. How about the person we know, who gets blasted and blitzed, and all he does is just offer handshakes? <laughs> You know who I'm talking about. Hey! Sama! <laughs> okay, Willie, okay. Okay, Willie. Okay, Willie. Okay, hey, on a chill. Hey. On a chill. On a chill. On a chill, on a chill no? Oh, we're chill. We're What's chill. What's the problem? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Willie, why don't you like me? That is an ex alcoholic. <laughs> 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 uh, may the legend never die. Idiot Doom Spiral, huh? This is bound to be a good, high concept conversation. Let's go. Let's go. What do you guys do around here? Is what is Tequila Sunset? You keep saying it. It's you. Your Tequila Sunset. How do you know this? We've met before. Don't you remember? Uh, no, you sure don't. No? Aha. Uh -huh. 
Do you want to know how Tequila Sunset came to be? Very much so. Tequila. Tequila Sunset. Something ominous there. For some reason, the name Tequila fills me with foreboding. Maybe I shouldn't learn what it means. Go ahead. No, this sounds scary. And it's not, again, it, it ain't a sunrise. It's on the way down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. Wait, did we meet on Friday? Was I alone? Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. He takes another sip, then continues. You got here on Friday to solve a case, hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer and that it would be really fucked up if you <laughs> shot yourself in the head right in front of them. That's pretty high concept if you ask me. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> my back can't take it. My, my back needs to chill. <laughs> chill. Just chill. <laughs> Just chill. Back at risk. Just chill. Back at risk. My back is okay. My back is okay. All right. Is that so hairier? Okay. There's just there's something so utterly fucking like. Uh, it just yeah. It just again like I, I I'm I'm thinking of almost just the comedy bit of like threatening threatening somebody with like i'm not gonna come beat you up i'm not gonna come kill you i'm gonna come ring your doorbell and i'm gonna kill myself on your property in front of you now what <laughs> deal with it fuck you the ultimate fuck you you know like uh just yeah it just it's it's a, i've seen it i've seen it that or in that um uh that little fucking cartoon that that uh uh, uh, Mike was in from Red Letter Media. I forgot its name. I forgot its name. But like they just it's helping friends or something like. Anyway, whatever. We're getting lost in the weeds. It's just. <laughs> it is. Oh boy. Conceptualization oh boy. likes it. All right. Yeah, this guy is pretty fucking high on drama. Mm -hmm. Smiling friends. Smiling friends. Thank you. <laughs> they they go. <laughs> They think they're going to cheer up this this kid that's a little sad, and it's a grown ass man with a fucking revolver pointed at his head, <laughs> and they're just like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they're like, what? You know, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> the lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. Please continue. Oh yeah, n not the first time this comes up. Ugh. Yeah, sure, I did that thing. What of it? It was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Moribund Alcoholics, were getting our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this, we get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza followed by a series of dings and bangs. Do you remember the sound of wood cracking? The billboard? Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Naturally. I want to get off the story train right now. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will. Followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. Three men are standing on a wooden platform extending out from the shore of a dilapidated fishing village. Their cheeks red, spirits high, bears in hand, eyes glazed over. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat-up police carriage containing you. Right there on the beach, 
You rev the engine and scream to the top of your lungs. The time hath come. Let's go. So naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come. To which you replied, The time hath come for tequila sunset. <laughs> the end of all things. Oh, he was going off. That's a hell of a pop off, bro. <laughs> Dude, I mean, can you even argue with the entrance, though? Sometimes it doesn't matter what the action was. It's the confidence that carried it. Then <laughs> you just have to. Yeah. Yo, let's you, go with you it. You just have to accept it. <laughs> All right. What happened next? Say nothing. It's more dignified. That Every word I said was true. Tequila Sunset will break the looms of reality. Your reality contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and through the ice. Your hands cramped on the steering levers. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. <laughs> you said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. Oh, that's sad. You're a legend. That's pathetic. You're a fucking legend. <laughs> in this way, you and your motor carriage have a lot in common. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. We asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and <laughs> insisted that we all call you that from then on. Wait, so tequila sunset? Is it an event or a name? Uh, tequila sunset, huh? Uh, Sounds pretty good. My real name's Harry, now we're going with one. I'm not sure. I think you were the event. Tequila sunset. You know, as opposed to a tequila sunrise, which is long gone. Tequila sunset, huh? Sounds pretty good. My name is Harry. Yeah, I agree. He smiles. How long did we party for? Hours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning. You got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. Mm-hmm. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up, and left without saying anything. <laughs> Big salt. So just... So all potential horrors we've gotten a glimpse of mm -hmm. the bra the the bravado and confidence of the the coming of the gods upon closer inspection a man covered in shit is crying <laughs> and now he's blaming it on the woman probably because of the horrible past that we have not yet uncovered Oh. So all all of the things have a place within, you know? Every frame a picture. Oh. Wow. That's quite a story. You kind of have to party with that guy, admittedly. If that happens... With the doom spiral, dude? The idiot doom spiral? Yeah, if you're with the boys and then that pulls up next to you, you kind of have no choice. But also, you do have to, like, basically all agree that, like, someone might die. <laughs> like, this might be the greatest story ever or the end of your life. Yeah, you gotta snap. You have to make a decision, you know? Be on your toes. But, but the, 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 the invitation to party is fucking... That's, all, that's a... You gotta roll an 18 to deny that, you know? Yeah. I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with him. If you only knew. 
Did I tell you anything specific about this person that fucked me? Did I mention losing anything else? Did I say anything about my colleagues? What about the case? Did we talk about um, <laughs> politics? You gotta read on what kind of cop I was? I don't need to hear anymore. Oh my god, I really want to hear five. I really want to hear five. <laughs> but let's see what we got here. You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard. And that we've all been fucked too. Please. Don't open that door. Oh my god. Inland will kill you if you try to find out. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Says Rosemary. All right. Abigail. Don't call Abigail, says Abigail. Oh, you're upside down. Okay, for a second, I thought you were like an in non-human little fur fuzzy like creature of what? some kind. <laughs> I didn't know what I was looking at. My brain was trying to turn this into eyebrows. <laughs> and then I was like, no, that's hair. And then I was like, is this the eyebrows? And then this is the the bottom of the... this, And then, you know? Like, you see a shape, and your brain tries to turn it into a face. So then I was like, these are the eyebrows. And then I was like, this is the beard. And I'm like, no, wait, those are eyes underneath that. What the... He's upside down. <laughs> it all happened in about a split yep, second. Yep, yep. But I'm just slowly walking you through the breakdown Thank of that you. split second. Yes. Abigail Punch. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Hmm. You're not mentioning losing anything. Beside your gun and your badge, you said something about your hope or heart or something. To be honest, the details are a little hazy. Hmm. Okay, okay. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage, too? That's a big one. Yeah. You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your stuff. I did not say that about my colleagues. No, uh, Kim? You know, I, I respect my colleagues. Mm-hmm. It's more like you were cramping the He's not from our precinct, so we don't have to worry about it. Testing no that. specifics, though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. I want Kim to think that our esprit de corps is bad, you know? Did I say anything about the case? Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. And that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. Hey, well, would you have a drink with Harry Dubois? I mean, look, man. If he had already, if he crashed a block away from me, and then he already lost his gun, <laughs> then yes. But with gun? Because mm. <laughs> that's one of those things where, like, you're having, and then he goes like, you know, the funny thing about these, and everyone's like, whoa! He's like, what? He's like, hold on! Hold on! Wait! No, it's not, it's not loaded! It's not. Look, you want me to prove it? And then that's. And then we just. And then it's over. And th then the night goes on. You know, we're not done with this for a while. And then liveleak.com. <laughs> you know? Just fucking. Yeah, Darwin Award. A lot of cops go solo and hermit once they reach that level of alcoholism. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. And then and then he looks at me and he says, "You're black." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Yes, yes." It's not meant as a joke. He's sorry for the hermit cop. Mm. Mm. All right, Kim. Did we talk about uh, politics? Yeah, you kept talking about how the coal mine owners were fucking us all over, just like that woman fucked you. I didn't agree with you, by the way. The spectral hand of the market makes sure everyone gets exactly what they deserve. What? Oh? 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 The, the mark? The hand? The great guiding hand? that keeps the children on the fucking factory lines. Let's go. 
just get a read on what kind of cop I was. You kept telling us that in your work you've seen a lot of blood, but that it's nothing compared to the great bloodletting to come. Mm -hmm. I believe you mentioned something about the ground cracking open to swallow cities and dreams alike. Yeah, I remember that simile or whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> It's just, we're, we're like, we're dealing with the dismissiveness of, like, a crazy person in a world where it literally is kind of fucking ending, though. <laughs> I don't need to hear any more. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. Mm hmm Alright. What do you do around here? You seem like you're characterized by your storytelling ability. Want to tell me another one sometime? I would say so, yeah. We are saving the world. He looks at his comrades. Please! Please don't call! Don't call! Begs the man in the pipe. Okay, well, to be fair now, we see a group of the boys hanging out, but we don't quite know whether they're all like him, who is clearly capable of talking and spinning a yarn, or they're just like in sorry shape and you're like this is look man we got boomhauer we're doing what we're doing all right we got dale <laughs> don't knock the crew just because you only spoke to hank don't forget about bill <laughs> okay we're drinking we're drinking alcohol that's what we're doing i tried to save the world once a long time ago with enterprise creativity and willpower but that didn't work out. He's clearly the artful dodger of the group. You mm -hmm. know? So now, it's a pirate's life for me. A pirate's life? Okay. What about your storytelling ability? You want to tell me another one some other time? whoop de doo So now, I'm a fucking storyteller. Right. Why not? Better than a beach bum. You want to tell me how you became Idiot Doom Spiral? No, I've heard enough stories for a lifetime. They suck. Goodbye. It depends, really. Are you <gasps> going to help me out? Oh my god. Someone just said this is Plague of Gripes, and it totally is. Oh, I can't unhear it. Oh my god, it's Eli. Oh yeah? Yeah! <laughs> the, 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 the energy and disdain in his voice is so on point. Oh, fuck, it's over. That's him. You might get scammed here. You can't unhear it. You are everybody. You can't unhear it. <laughs> uh, okay, drama, drama set me up. I have a feeling that this is going to cost me a lot more. What do you need? Booze. Did you already forget our party? The thing I relayed to you earlier. He taps his finger to his temple. Now the funny thing about Dragon Ball is... <laughs> Toriyama has a habit of... <laughs> <laughs> so, have you got anything for good old idiot Doom Spiral? <sighs> a bottle for a story. Seems fair to me. Hey, maybe we can work on something. Got a sweet Commodore Red bottle for you. Uh, I got a special Strike Brew the Union uses. Mm, I don't have any on me right now. I don't want to give you any alcohol. I'm not an enabler. Well, here's a so fucking Gambit paid off, right? Straight Edge, but we're still collecting it in case we might be able to use it later. Mm-hmm. Right. So you can um, give a little goodie. Paid off. Information. You know? Now we have bartering tools. Uh, here you go. How about some Commodore Red? Classy. He snatches the it's bottle. It's my old fave. Pushes the cork in through the bottleneck. Hey, Spiral Boy, you gonna share that? I mean, look, I'm not give. It's not kudo. These are these are these are grown ass men. <laughs> okay. And I just finished doing this mission in Yakuza. You know, some hobos wanted some booze for information, and then you go and you do it. If it's good enough for fucking Kiryu, it's good enough for Harry or Dubois. 
Don't call Abigail. Damn. Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. Something happened to you. Something happened to me, too. My actual name is George. But around here, you already know. I was once a reasonably high net worth individual. A founder slash junior partner at a high concept creative services agency. When my story begins, I had just landed a major contract with an insurance firm. Go oh. on. Well, that explains the libertarian in the hobo libertarian. <laughs> I used the profits from my agency to finance what I called a cultural incubator. Abstract value generation, value per person, high concept stuff. I developed the paradigm, worked within the paradigm, but the burden of leadership weighed heavily on me. So I went jogging every so often to keep myself sane. Sounds like you invented... Fucking just... Business speak, terms, words, things, digital lockers to unlock your oh, future... Shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, Become the future you. Oh, what was the word? I forget. But just, just a whole whatever, fucking Fugazi thing, you know. <laughs> just oh boy. All right. How many people did you have working for you? Did the jogging help? Twenty-two full-time employees, an all-star team, a potentially historical set of individuals. But this is worrying about them often kept me up well into the morning hours. Tolerable because he's speaking past tense, whereas the Sunday friend was in it. Oh my god. And emitting an aura of it. He was filthy with it. Did the jogging help? It did. With my trusty Sansarik tracksuit, I felt like I could conquer the world. But now dreams are worn thin. Much like my tracksuit. He says thoughtfully, brushing dust off his shit-stained pants. One day I left <laughs> on my evening run. As you may know, it's impossible to clear your head when you're distracted by the sound of keys jangling in your pockets. He shakes the bottle and makes a ringing sound. His eyes are clouded. His dilated blood vessels encircle in his irises like stinging brambles. His eyes are your eyes. So I removed the key ring and put the keys for the front gate and the apartment into different pockets to stop the jangling, you see? At least, that was the plan. I was halfway done with my usual lap when it started to rain. The reality situation became very wet, very quickly. Mm, how wet are we talking about, exactly? It was a day not unlike this one here. Okay, you both glanced skyward. I made my way back home and discovered that I didn't have the key to the front gate. I'd mixed it up with the key to the letterbox, which was useless. Naturally, the situation required me to climb over the gate, which I did. There was no climbing down because I slipped and landed on my ass. Oh, ouch. I would have landed on my feet. I've got feline reflexes. Of course I have. No, you don't. <laughs> Failure. <laughs> it's the call. Yo, I got few lighter reflexes. DM looks down, puts the board up, roll, roll, roll. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, nah. nah. Take twelve fall damage, <laughs> dude. Those moments of just like. Board up. <laughs> Whatever. The point is, reality was looking rather grim just then. Me lying on my ass in a mud pit in the middle of a heavy shower. But when life knocked me down, I always got up. That's good. So I made my way across the yard. Standing in front of my apartment door, fumbling with my pockets, I realized that I'd also forgotten my apartment key. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. I wish I were, Tequila. I wish I were. Instead of my apartment key, 
I'd taken the key to the office. Okay, so what happened next? I rang my neighbor's buzzers. It was late, and most of them didn't even answer. Those who did assumed I was trying to sell them something and hung up before I could even explain the situation. People are naturally wary of ad men, you see? One moment someone chats you up, five minutes later you've bought a box of edible lingerie and a strap-on. I don't begrudge them, especially since I was known to be one of the best. Mm -hmm. Pauses meaningfully. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. 